Welcome to part 3 of the Soundgrid 201 certification training video series. In this final video in the training series, we'll go over networking and latency in a Soundgrid system. We'll discuss what cables and switches are best to use in a Soundgrid system, what maximum cable distances can be used, and how latency works in a Soundgrid system. If you haven't already, don't forget to watch the first two parts of this video series by clicking the links in the description. A Soundgrid compatible network switch is a standard gigabit Ethernet switch qualified by WAVES to be used as part of the Soundgrid network. The switch links the host computer, the server, and all Soundgrid I.O. devices. Some Soundgrid I.O. devices, such as the DigiGrid IUX rack mount unit, have more than one network port built in, but it's strongly advised to use a standalone Soundgrid compatible gigabit Ethernet switch as your main network switch. On Waves.com, you'll find a list of switches that Waves tested and qualified for Soundgrid. Soundgrid uses standard Ethernet cables. CAT5E cables or higher are required. Note that CAT5 cables are not supported. When planning out a Soundgrid network, it's very important to pay attention to the maximum cable length chart on Waves.com. If you refer to the chart, you'll see that there is a great difference between distances allowed between your main Soundgrid compatible switch and your I.O. devices to that of the Soundgrid DSP server and its connection to the main switch. A Soundgrid DSP server enables low latency recording and monitoring. Using Ethernet cables that are longer than the recommended length between the server and the main switch can potentially cause issues such as audio dropouts. Distances between the main gigabit switch and I.O. devices are flexible. Soundgrid allows up to 328 feet or 100 meters between the main switch and an I.O. device. That distance can be extended by adding a maximum of three extra switches consecutively. For distances greater than that, Wave suggests using fiber optic sound grid interfaces, such as the DigiGrid MGO optical MADI to sound grid interface. All devices should have a direct connection to the switch. Daisy chaining devices is not recommended nor advised. Soundgrid provides super low latency. Audio passes in and out of the network as quickly as 0.8 millisecond round trip from in to out. Since Soundgrid is a digital audio platform, we can think of the audio data going through the network in terms of frames. Each discrete audio sample constitutes a frame. Soundgrid has a system in which it logs all the frames it generates on the network. It also creates a timestamp for each frame. When an I.O. device creates a frame, it marks it with a timestamp and sends it to the Soundgrid server. The server then processes the data and sends it back to the I.O. By doing so, the Soundgrid network can trace all frames on the network and monitor any audio drops or sync problems. This also allows the network to directly measure latency. Soundgrid is sample accurate, so if any dropouts are detected or if anything falls out of sync, the system notifies the user. It is very important to know that the total latency in a Soundgrid network is influenced by the plugins used in the processing chain. As noted previously, the minimum latency in a Soundgrid network is 0.8 millisecond. As an example, let's say that the Soundgrid network sample rate is set to 48 kilohertz. This means that the audio round trip takes 40 samples. Now let's add a plugin. Not all plugins are equal in terms of latency. Adding a plugin that creates 64 samples of latency will increase the total latency to 104 samples which is equivalent to 2.1 milliseconds. Adding more plugins to the chain can further increase the total latency. Note that the human ear only detects latencies of 5 milliseconds or higher. You can find information on the latency of individual plugins on each plugin's product page under Tech Specs tab, 
or in the plugin latency chart on waves.com. We hope you enjoyed this training series. You are now ready to go to waves.com slash soundgrid-201, read the extended article, and take the Soundgrid 201 certification test. See you at Soundgrid 301.